at the moment uh, in our industry, there's still a lot of call to actually uh, import foreign talent. Uh, so the lack of certain skills gap has actually uh, prevented us, for example, uh, from developing certain innovations. Um, but that said, so for example, if we say that uh, if, if Singapore wants us to be a trusted AI hub, then obviously, apart from defining what that means, it is also to say that where are the, the, the people, who's, where's the talent coming from? We are looking at a growing trend where people are actually onboarding talent uh, from nearby uh, partner countries such as Vietnam, India, Indonesia uh, to complement or supplement that uh, shortage in talent pool. I think Singapore uh, historically has always uh, enjoyed a very good balance of having uh, foreign imports uh, into our country uh, to basically have that skills transfer uh, to our you know, local residents and population uh, in order for us to continue uh, you know, development uh, of our economy. So I would say that uh, that's not going to be any different uh, that we need to consider for the tech industry, whether it is uh, importing AI scientists, uh, data analysts, uh, and all those different uh, personnel that's important for us to continue uh, to, to basically develop the kind of workforce that we need uh, to innovate as well as to thrive. So we do hope, of course, uh, the supply can meet the demands of the industry itself. But that remains to be seen and we are closely working and monitoring it with various uh, institutes of higher learning and giving constant feedback uh, to the Ministry of Manpower as well. We are also very actively at SG Tech working with the uh, educational uh, institutions uh, ranging from our polytechnics, our ITs, all the way to universities. Uh, and the intention is to ensure that the curriculum uh, in these uh, educational institutions continues to be relevant uh, and it continues to keep pace with the evolving technology. Because today we know that uh, if a cohort takes three to five years to graduate, uh, by the time they come out to the, to the workplace, uh, it could very well be obsolete. Uh, so one of the things that uh, we're very actively involved in, apart from internships, uh, placement of interns into companies uh, to basically ensure that uh, the students or the incumbent uh, or incoming uh, graduates will actually be able to uh, you know, keep pace and become uh, and remain relevant. Uh, we're also actually currently doing a tech apprenticeship program. So, so this is, uh, I would say, kind of an extension from what we used to do as an internship, but it is really a reflection and an acknowledgement that when it comes to tech, uh, on-the-job training is definitely much more relevant uh, and much more, uh, I would say, important uh, for anyone who's going to be in this tech sector to, to ensure that they keep pace uh, with uh, the evolving developments in this space.